Hi everybody, uh, Jerry here. Uh, out to here fishing for hot heat wave summer brown trout. We're in a big heat wave. I was out a couple of days and had the water to myself, not even a car on the road. And uh, I'm just uh, looking for trouts in the deep heat of summer. It is about 95 degrees out, sweating bullets, uh, just fun stuff to me. It's always the extreme to remember, and I can't find a better way to spend the day today <coughs> or yesterday. But the video, I have a few, few coming up. Uh, I <coughs> was out for a few days, so what you're going to get is a compilation of a couple days fishing in this hot weather. But uh, all fish caught were, as you'll see, I've been using a Royal Coachman. So anyway, let's get to uh, what happened here and uh, let's see what happens. Now this is a pretty neat stream, creek, river, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> they stock it, but it's stocked on the other side of the dam. The water I've been fishing, this is all a natural spawning population. Uh, I like that, it makes it more challenging. Um, there is a big water, a reservoir, where even <clears throat> bigger trout can come up. And I've seen some fish, three, four, maybe five pound range here and there too so they're definitely in there i didn't see any today saw some the other day um this part is not stocked as far as i know i think they stock it by the other side of the dam that's uh a little bit further up probably a mile up creek. really great great fun place to fish there's no roads when you walk in and uh really pristine uh, cool stuff out here Okay, let's get going.
I think most, if not all these fish, I've been fishing with uh, the Royal Coachman wet. Um, pretty much so, I think it's about the same as a, a wolf, wolf fly, or however you say it. Um, I'm just kind of swinging it in and twitching it along the seams and hanging it in holes and dropping it in behind boulders, stuff like that. Anything I can think of, that's how I fish. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just doing anything I can think of. So, but uh, this fly has been taken, I think, all of, most if not all of the fish. But good stuff. All right, let's get to it. So we picked up a few fish here. Um, that's good. Uh, then we're gonna take a walk back downstream and come back here before it goes. Like the way. Let me show you quick the equipment uh, I'm using today, yesterday, <coughs> the other day. Uh, this is a. Uh, it's about a five, six weight medalist um, Luger. Uh, it's a nice rod. I like it. It's a little lighter, I think, like they say. Um, the line, that's a six weight. It's a double taper. Uh, Cortland 333. I know that. And I love my Martin 61s. These are great reels. They pass the test of time. They last forever. You can even use these things for big striper. <laughs> Believe it, you know, it's great reel. It's got a click ratchet, and you know, you can turn it off if you're going in quiet, and I just keep it on. Um, and uh, that's pretty much so the setup.
as far as the leader and the line. I think this is about a, this is a tapered leader. Um, I think it's about, it's no longer nine feet, uh, but it is tapered, I'm sure straight. And this is, I think, uh, about four pound leader and a surgeon on the, on the end. Up here, I just do a dunk and loop to dunk and loop to my tip top. I can change that leader if I need to throw bigger. I don't think my smaller flies, but it's working out. Time is getting limited. I have one spot in mind, and I know that there should be fish there. Um, the spot I just came from, fish are uh, stop feeding, but I'm hoping maybe they'll start feeding, or uh, should I just find walk and see if I can find some active fish? Um, it's tough. I think I'm going to go back and maybe finish uh, where I had that action there. So I'm going to head back, not far. I head back the other way. There is no fishing out that spot. It is going to be dark soon, I think, especially under these trees. So I'm going to go back there and take a few more cans where I had that other fish. These are the questions you've got to ask yourself when you're fishing. Probably a bunch of fish swimming around now that you're watching. All right, let's head back.
Oh! Son of a gun. Okay, it's uh, getting dark, so I'm gonna uh, fish a bit more till dark, but we'll get it in there if I get anything. But uh, it was a, a good, good, hot few days. Um, cool thing is these are, are, are wild or uh, uh, naturally uh, spawning uh, brown trout, and they're all brookies in here too. Really cool water. They do stock it, like I said, they stock it on the other side of the poles. Um, over here, it's uh, from what I hear, it's just all natural reproducing uh, brown trout and uh, brook trout. I haven't had one here yet this year, but really fun. The Royal Coachman uh, did it, wet fly. It's a size 14 I've been using. I've been sticking with it 90% mm, of the time. I, actually, I threw a, a San Juan worm. I had a flash around that. I threw a couple of nymphs and I had a few flashes on them. But when I put the coachman on, it just seems to do the job. But a uh, hot, hot 95 degree day today. But uh, a little cooler in here. The water feels very cool. Um, the trout are lazy, but they are here to be caught. This is not ideal time and conditions. I had the water all to myself both days. But uh, I'm going to be getting out of here. Um, but <laughs> finally, <laughs> thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed uh, the video. Um, please like, dislike, comment. Uh, love them all, whatever you have to say. Uh, good, bad, uh, anything. And uh, remember, subscribe to the channel. And remember, always fish your way. And thanks again for watching. I am going to fish a bit more till it gets dark, and it gets dark quick in these here woods. I don't think I have cell reception. So. Thanks again for watching. Have a good night or day.